Oh my God. See, 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 this is what Jesus marveled at with the centurion. Matthew chapter 8, you're going to find the story of Jesus healing everywhere, laying hands on people. And the Bible says some, he healed them all. But up to that point, everybody Jesus healed, they were either in his presence, he was in their house, he laid hands on them. But something happened with the centurion that changed the game. The centurion came to Jesus and says, I have a servant that's lying at home paralyzed. And I want you to heal him. Jesus says, I will come and heal him. The centurion said, Are you getting it? The centurion said, I know some don't nobody else know. He says, you don't have to come to my house to heal my servant. Now, this was a game changer because everywhere else Jesus went, he was in the house. He was laying hands. He was he was speaking over people. They were in proximity. He was telling them to rise and walk. But this man said, you don't even have to come to my house. Stand right where you are and speak the word only and my servant will be healed. Jesus said, what? <laughs> Jesus marveled. He turned to his disciples and said, did you hear what this man said? They said, what do you mean? He said, did you hear what he said? He says, I don't have to come touch him. All I have to do is open my mouth. I don't even have to be in the same city. All I have to do is open my mouth from here. And the servant will be healed over there. Jesus marveled and said, how do you have that kind of faith? And the man says, because I know some of your disciples don't know. I understand authority. And when you in authority, you always know who is in authority because authority does not move. Authority has things move for them. Yeah. <laughs> because ability is released in activity but authority is released in words I'm going to slow it down and say it again so you can get it authority is not ability ability is activity it's enablement it's 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 power where we get dunamis or dynamite something is explosive so it's released you can feel it that's the anointing of the holy ghost that's ability but authority is a whole different thing authority ain't released by ability authority is released by words which means when you're an authority you just speak Oh my God. Oh my God. When you in authority, people in authority just speak. Now you can be an authority and still work, but the highest form of authority is to give command. And the centurion said, Watch this, I am a man in authority and I have soldiers under me and when I say to this one go he goes and when I say come he comes and then I'm also under authority which means I recognize that when I give commandment the soldiers obey me but what they're really obeying is who's over me 
because your authority is only as great as the one backing you. And he says, I've been watching you, Jesus, and I've discovered something about you that your disciples don't know, that you operate by authority. Everybody else thought he just operated by ability. But the centurion saw, uh-uh, this is authority, which means you ain't even got to come there and be there physically. If you open up your mouth, whatever is underneath your authority has to obey. Therefore, you don't even have to be there no more than I have to be there to tell my soldier to come here. All I got to do is send the word. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See, now, why is this important for you? Because you can't deal with spirits physically. Spiritual warfare is not combat. You can't hit a devil. You can't shoot a devil. You can't slap a devil. You can't punch a devil because they're not physical. So you can't deal with them by anything you do in the physical. You have to deal with them how you function in the spirit. And in the spirit realm, you function by authority. Which means you do warfare with words. My mouth is my weapon. And when I open my mouth, spirits have to become subjected. And the centurion said, if you open your mouth, that condition has to obey. Child of God, you got to hear me. A closed mouth is a defeated life. Because you are abdicating your authority. Let me go back to that again. See, because the Bible says you're wrestling against not flesh and blood. See, you're dealing with principalities and powers and spirits. So how am I going to deal with the spirit? I can't hit it. I can't shoot it. I have to take authority over it. Which means you rule your world with your words. <laughs> 